In our previous lesson, we have seen how to add fractions together. But in today's tutorial, we are going to look on to how to add mixed numbers together. The purpose of this lesson is to show how to add mixed numbers together without transforming them into improper fractions. But before we start, I want you to understand that every mixed number can be expressed as a sum of its whole number and its fraction. This is what I mean. So first we have two whole number one over three can be written as two plus one over three. If you simplify this, you're going to obtain this back. So now let us add some mixed numbers together. And remember we said mixed number can be expressed as the sum of its whole number and its fraction. So this can also be written as seven plus three plus one over three. So we are going to add the like terms together. This is a whole number. This is also a whole number. If you add them together, you shall obtain 10. And we have plus 1 over 3. And 10 plus 1 over 3 is the same thing as 10 whole number 1 over 3. So 10 whole number 1 over 3 is the same thing as this fraction and a whole number added off together. Okay, each of these can be expressed as a sum of whole number and a fraction, so we can do that. This is plus 1 over 2, plus 3, plus 1 over 3. Now, we, like terms, we have fraction, we have fraction, we have whole number and whole number. So we add whole numbers together and fractions together. So this is going to be 4 plus 3, then plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3. If you add the two whole numbers together, 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. Plus, you know, if you are adding two or more fractions that have the same denominator, you are free to add their numerators together. But these two fractions have different uh, denominators. Therefore, you have to transform them to be equal to the same denominator. And the LCM between these two numbers is 6, and hence we are going to transform each number into 6. To transform this into 6, you have to multiply it by 3. For equivalency, you have to multiply the top number by the same value, 3. 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times 2 is 6. To transform this into 6, you have to multiply it by 2. For equivalency, you multiply the top by 2 as well. So we have 2 over 6. This is equal to 7 plus if you add these two together, you obtain 5 over 6. And hence, if you have a whole number and a fraction, if you add them together, you shall obtain a mixed number, 7 whole number, 5 over 6. So now let us add more mixed numbers together. Suppose we have 3 whole number, 2 over 3, plus... 4 whole number 2 over 3. This is going to be 3 plus 4 plus 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3. Because I told you, you add the whole numbers together and fractions together. This plus this is 7 plus, they have the same denominator. So we don't have to transform it into any form. All we have to do is to add the numerators together. 2 plus 2 is 4 over 3. But it is not proper to leave our fraction in this form because we are dealing with a mixed number. And hence, we are going to count the number of times the denominator can go into numerator. 3 can go into 4 one time. And we have one left, and that one is out of three. We still have another whole number, which we can join with this other whole number to make it eight. This is eight, one over three. Because I told you we have a plus here, one plus one over three. Then you bring the whole number and the whole number together to make it eight. And eight plus one over three is the same thing as eight whole number one over three. All right, suppose we want to add these two fractions together. 
this is the same thing as saying 6 plus 1 over 3 plus 3 plus 4 over 5 we bring the lifetimes together this is 6 plus 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 4 over 5 this and this equals 9 plus they have different denominator and hence we are going to transform them in such a way they will have the same denominator and that LCM between the 3 and 4 is 15 and each of these numbers have to be transformed into 15. To transform this 3 into 15 we have to multiply it by 5. The same thing we have to multiply the top number by 5. 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 3 is 15 plus to transform this into 15 we are going to multiply it by 3 and do the same thing to the top number for 3 times 4 is 12 3 times 5 is 15. This is equal to 9 plus 5 plus 12 is 17. Divide by the common denominator which is 15. Still 15 can go into 17 one time and we have two left. So this is equal to 9 plus one whole number uh, 2 over 15. And finally, our answer is going to be 10 because 1 plus 9 is 10, 2 over 15. And this is how to add mixed numbers together without transforming them into improper fractions. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.